Max or something. You mind putting people in slavery? Do I mind? Yeah. I don't agree. You don't agree? No, no. This is uh, Revelation chapter 2. So verse. look, so look, our spirit bear witness on the seat. Trying, trying you right now because I want to put those people that put us in slavery. I want to put them in slavery. They need to go through that judgment as well. We're going through our judgment, all right. So that's what's going on. So when Christ comes back on earth, yeah. he's going to put them in, in the captivity. The spirit itself, bear witness with our spirit. So the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. Our spirit, we're out here telling the, the uh, so called African Americans. Mm -hmm. The Latinos and the Native Americans, we're out here to tell them that they are the children of Israel, okay? And they must repent and come back to God's laws, mm -hmm. right? All our life we've been through slavery, we've been through all these types of wickedness going on. So if your spirit bear witness to this here, watch, keep going. That we are. That we what? We are the, the children of God. That we are the children of God, mm -hmm. then you might be that child of Israel. I don't know. You know, you might be. Well, you know? First John chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it up. Beloved, believe not every spirit, mm -hmm. but try the spirit. Do what? Try the spirit. So what we're doing right now, we're just trying you a little bit. We're trying your spirit just to see if you bear witness to our spirit that what? Whether they be or are of God. Uh-huh. Because many false prophets are are gone out into the world. That's right. If I know that the spirit of God, every wit, every spirit uh -huh. that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. You, you you believe that Christ came in his flesh? Christ came off the earth? What color was Christ? You don't know? I don't say he's a white man. That's why I don't. Praise We're going to show you Christ's color right here. Revelation in chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it up. His head and his hair is white like wool. His head and his hair is white? White like wool. Like wool. So what's Woody? Who have Woody hair on earth right now? Hi, son. All praise him. What else? It's white as snow. It's white as snow. It's also was white like that. His eyes was a flame of fire. His eyes was a flame of fire. And his feet. And then now he looked down at, uh, John looked down at Christ's feet and what? Like unto fine brass. It was like fine brass. What is the color of brass? Olives. Huh? Well, my son is like an olive. No, an olive. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but well, what's it? It's a bronze color. Like a bronze, like yeah. a brass, like a yeah. brown, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, Let's see how brown he was. As if they burned. In the furnace. So John said Christ's feet were so brown as if it burned in the furnace, meaning it was what? If you burn anything in the furnace, what color it comes? Brown, right? Black, right? Yeah. If you burn eggs or rice in the egg, black. it's black. Yeah. So he said that Christ is a black skinned man. Yeah. So if Christ was walking this earth right now, he would be an African American, right. so called African American. He would be through our lineage. Right. You see that? Are, are you giving a, a spiritual understanding of that? Oh, yes. Oh, praise I was today. raised in. All praise, all yeah. praise. Yeah. So Christ is not a white man. What they portraying out here in these churches? No, he's not. All praise. That's Cesare Bonjour. And That's when I used is. to try to tell people that they would look at me and tell right. me I was wrong. Okay, but up. no, I, I wasn't wrong. Straight up. All yeah. praise, all praise. Yeah. See, I, see, your spirit bearing witness. Because yeah. our, our, our great 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 grandmother, and them, they was in slavery. They went through the through, right. through the cotton fields and all of that. So your your ancestors might have went through the same thing as ours. They probably was in the same cotton field. Yeah. The spirit bear witness to that. You see what I'm saying? So we got to roll with it with that. But all praise to that. What you got? You got anything else? This is uh, Acts mm -hmm. chapter 3, verse 17. And what they say? So this is what you must do, all right? He about to bring it out to you right here. Repent ye therefore. They say what? Repent ye therefore. They say you need to repent. Okay, you know what repentance is? Coming back. Coming back to what? Coming back to God's laws, yeah, yeah. His law, statutes, yeah. and commandments. So we must repent. Whatever we was doing, we back at home smoking weed. Yeah, uh -uh. got got to ask me to forgive. Got to forgive. Yeah. Psalm chapter thirty-two, verse five. Psalm seventeen. I acknowledge all my sins. Mm -hmm. Psalm seventeen. You did what? I acknowledge my so sin. So you have to acknowledge your sin. When you go home, pray and acknowledge your sin of what you done did and whatever. Repent and come back to God's laws. That means women must wear their dresses. That's a commandment. Yeah. All right. That's a commandment. Women must put fringes on the bottoms of their garments, just like all of us men got fringes, all right? We must do that those also, those commandments. We must follow the dietary law, no eating crabs, shrimp, and lobster, and all that type of stuff. We must eat fish with fins and scales. That's a dietary law. There's, there's a lot of laws in the Bible, commandments, that we must repent and come back to God's laws. Can you finish that up? I acknowledge my sin unto thee, mm -hmm. and mine iniquity have I not hid. Mm -hmm. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, mm -hmm. and, to, and and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sins. Mm -hmm. For this shall every one 
that is godly pray unto thee in the time when thou mayest be found. Uh -huh. Surely the floods of, of great waters they shall they shall not come nigh unto unto him. That's right. See, and then he's gonna forgive you. You know, now this is Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore and be converted. And be what? And be converted. So you need to repent and be converted, man. That's what's your name? Helen. Helen, that's what we out here for. We out here to let all the two individuals out here know that they must repent and come back to God's laws. Right? That's how we do the men right now. And follow God's commandments. And what did he say? That your sins may be blotted that out. That your sins may be blotted out. And what? But the times of oppression shall come from the presence of the Lord. We, we want to be refreshed. We, we haven't been refreshed yet out here. You know, we want to live a, a happily spiritual uh, love, life, living life out here. We're not, we're, not, we're not doing that right now. Our people's out of order out here right now. You know, that's why we got all this killing and stuff. That's why we all that stuff going on out here. But look, since you didn't know, we're asking. Book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 30. Uh -huh. And it reads, uh -huh. And the times of, the, of this ignorance. In the time of your ignorance that you didn't know that you was an Israelite. If so, if your spirit got witness, you might be an Israelite. I don't know. What do you say? God winked at What did he do? God winked at God winked at that. You see what I'm saying? And what he did. But now, but now, commanded all men everywhere to repent. We must repent. You see that? That's what we must do. So that's what we out here doing. We're not trying to put people into no cult, no cult type of religion or anything like that. We're just trying to simply tell you, follow God's law. Repent and follow God's law. All right? I'm going to ask you something. You mind putting people in slavery? Do I mind? Yeah. I don't agree. You don't agree? No. This is uh, Revelation chapter 2. So, verse. Look, so look, our spirit bear witness on the sea. We're trying, we're trying you right now. Because I want to put those people that put us in slavery, I want to put them in slavery. They need to go through their judgment as well. We've gone through our judgment, all right? So that's what's going on. So when Christ comes back on earth, yes. he's going to put them in, in the captivity. Yes. Are you aware of that? I am now. You're okay, so yes. we're going to bring it up. We're going to show you yes. the Bible. Go ahead and say it. Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. Mm -hmm. And he that overcometh uh -huh. and keepeth my works until the end. So we must keep God's works to the end. Mm -hmm. What is the works? Follow God's commands. All right? We must do so, this to the end. He's going to show you what the works is. Watch this. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Uh -huh. For we are his workmanship. We are his what? His workmanship. Uh -huh. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Mm -hmm. Until which, what? Until good works. Until good works. All right, that's the works. And what else? Which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. We should walk in them, meaning His commands. Those are the good works. All right, and go back to where you were. What was that? Oh, I think it was in Revelation, like two. Yeah, two. Revelation chapter two, verse twenty-six. <laughs> Bring it out. And he that shall overcome it. To keep it my works uh -huh. until the end. Mm -hmm. To him will I give power over the nations. What are you going to do? Give power over the nations. He's going to give us power over the other nations. Are you willing to go through with that? You want to have power over the other nations? All oh, praise. What else is it? <laughs> and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. We shall rule them with a rod of iron. So they're going to be our slaves. We ain't going to be uh, uh, doing like. All that stuff they used to do us, like take us, take our eyes out. You know what I'm saying? So, go ahead, Revelation. Wait, you finish? As the, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to uh -huh. shivers, gonna, gonna even as I received of my father. We're gonna break them to shivers. If they don't want to do or comply to what we tell them to do, we we'll break them to shivers. That's what that rod of iron for. Okay, mm -hmm. Revelation says. It's the book of Revelation, uh -huh. chapter 13, verse nine. nine. Watch this here, man. It reads, if any man. Have an ear. You have let him ears. hear. So you have ears, right? I'm gonna let you hear. Watch what you hear. He that lead us to captivity. He that led us to captivity shall go into captivity. They shall go into captivity. So see that? That's an end time prophecy. That's what happened. So if you're willing to, to, uh, to go through this, to have them in captivity, all praise to that and watch the set. He that killeth with the sword, he that's killing us with the sword out here in this world, shall be killed with the sword. They shall be killed with the sword also. My first husband comes from New Iberia. Okay. And I married him when I was 16. Okay. And they used to burn crosses in our yard and everything by us. You know. And they even put him in jail a couple of times. Okay. And they did the same thing to my son. Because he was burning crosses? Black. Because he was black. Because he was black. And I was whatever. Yeah. Okay. They didn't agree. Do you feel 
your spirit, your Caucasian? You feel that? You think you're Caucasian? No, no. Okay. I really don't think anybody is just so one. Did you, did you grow up in the uh, Did you grow up in the adoption? Uh, um, uh, like I was raised by one of my daddy's sisters. Okay, okay. And she. Was she know, Caucasian? She didn't really look it. She had the curly hair and everything. You know, she had like an olive complexion. She was a very olives um, come in green and black. Yeah, Which right. one is well? What I mean by uh, like a bronze color, okay, a brown color. She wasn't dark. Is, she wasn't light. Like, hey y'all. Yeah. So, this is Numbers chapter one, verse eighteen. So check this out. This, this is why we ask you these questions. Yeah. It is. Numbers chapter one, verse eighteen. And they assembled all the congregation together. On the first day of the second and month. They, and they were talking about the children of Israel. They gathered all them together by what? And they declared their pedigree. And they declared their pedigree by what? After the families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. That's why we actually who the father is. And your great great grandfather and stuff like right. that. Because whatever your father and they can get right, that, that, that's that, what that, you that, are. That, that's what you are. So it don't matter if your mom was white or yeah. your mom was Chinese. Right. If your dad was black, you're Israelite. Well, I'm like this. I never, I always claimed to be skin tone, whatever, never. I could not consider myself. Okay. Right, right. But it's very important for us to know what our nationality yeah. is. Or else, because if you is a Caucasian, you're going to have to receive the judgments of what we just read in Revelation yeah. 13. Yeah, but I'm not, as far as I know. I, I, our family is very mixed. Who the guys there? So it's, it's really no such thing as mixed, too. Okay? It's all about okay. the father. It's all right, about the father. Right. So think about the father. Whenever you talk about when we talk about nationality, okay? So it don't matter what the mom's is, yeah. what your grandma is, and yeah. all of that, you know. What you got? This is uh this is Matthew chapter 13, verse 31. Bring it out, brother. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like like oh, let me jump down to 36. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus sent very the very important now. Now listen to this very, 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 very careful. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy, is, the enemy that sowed them is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels, and as therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire. So Christ, uh, Christ explained in this parable that was written in what, Matthew 13. Yeah. So when you read all Matthew 13, it was talking about the souls, about the tares and the wheat. And, and what Christ saying is, you're not, you're not going to know it unless you by the fruit of your spirit also as well. Just like Amos, uh, what is it, Amos 3 and 3? Uh, Amos, Amos chapter 1. Amos 1? Okay, watch this up. With, uh, Amos uh, chapter 9. Amos chapter yeah, 9 and 8. Yeah. Start at 9 and 7. Amos, I got it. Okay. Amos. Two more. Two more. Watch this up. Chapter 9. So this is important for your salvation. I understand. Right. And, and that's why we're about to let you know this. Amos chapter 9, verse 9. So what did it say? For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel. What are you going to do? I will command and I will sift the house of Israel. So the angels, at the time, at the time of Christ coming back, the angels are going to come and sift the children of Israel through all these uh, tares. So you got to look at this whole earth as like a field with nothing but wheat, strawberries, fruits, and all that. So the angels are going to come by and he's going to lift up the children of Israel out of all this. He knows who the children of Israel is. No matter if your mom was white, mom was Chinese, or whatever like that, your daddy, so called that, uh, way back in the days, grandpa and was an act so far from America, the children of Israel. Alright? And what do you say? Verse 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, mm -hmm. like as corn is sifted in a seed. That is. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All sinners of my people shall die by the sword, That's it. which say that evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up the ruins and I will build it as in the days of old, right. that That's they right. may possess the remnant of Edom. That's right. So you're going to possess the remnant of Edom. And, 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 the and of all and, else? and of all the heathen and which are called by my name, said the Lord. All the heathen that are called by my name. The Chinese man, the African man, the Japanese man, the 
Arab man, all of them, the Arabs, and the Caucasians. Even if they want, it's going to be a remnant of them also that's going to be in the kingdom. But they're going to have to serve us in the kingdom. They're going to be our service and have these. You read it in Isaiah 14. So that's the kingdom. The kingdom going to be right here on earth. We're not going to be in the sky, way up there in paradise on love. So when the Christ come back, it's going to be right down earth, man. And that's what's going on. All right, Ms. Heather? And I do appreciate you all. Let me give her one more This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So this is the conclusion of the whole matter while we are here. Fear God. And you fear God. And keep his commandments. And we must do what? Keep his commandments. So you must keep his commandments, Helen. For this is the whole duty of man. So this is the whole duty of man and woman. For God shall bring every work into judgment uh -huh. with every secret thing, whether it be... So if you're hiding something, if you're doing something, take a little high and watch it. He has an angel watching it. All right? Whether, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Whether it be good or evil. You can see all that. Okay? He's going to judge you for all that, too. All right? I, I read my Bible every morning and every night before so I go to bed. The Bible is a nationality. It's yes. a nationality of people. That's in the book. It's the children of Israel book. This is for us. This is not for the whole world. I can't. 